In today's episode of Bacon Family Adventures, we are visiting the Children's Museum of Indianapolis. Now, this is apparently the largest children's museum in the world, and it was first founded in 1925 and has undergone a lot of changes since then. Now, I'm pretty sure we've been here before. John says we have, but it was when Allison was really, really little. So I don't remember any of it, but being in Indianapolis, it took us about two hours or so to get from Dayton to here. And the first thing that we saw, as you could see, there were dinosaurs like outside of the building and huge statues on the way in as well. We parked in the parking garage and getting ready to walk over the bridge into the museum. How excited are you? I'm so excited. Uh, apparently we've been here before, but it's been a very long time. So we're gonna go see what's new. We got here about 15 minutes before they opened. This museum is open from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. and we came with the expectation of staying the entire time. With it being the largest children's museum, it was to be expected. First thing we saw when we went in was this huge bumblebee statue. And according to the sign on the bottom, this was an actual prop used in the Transformers movies. That was probably one of the coolest things ever. One of the first stops in the museum was a huge dinosaur exhibit. Allison was not too sure about it at first because she does not like animatronic things that move and make noise and we didn't know whether there were any in there. So we skipped that one for the moment and went over to the Treasures of the Earth which was really cool. It just showed different like archeological finds. Also a couple of props from the Indiana Jones movies, which was pretty awesome. As we looked over the balcony, Allison found something that she was extremely interested in. These clay statues down here. You could put together your own statue that's been like broken. And then there is like sand down there where you could uncover your own little finds. And she said, we need to go down there immediately. Now this machine, I will let you listen to here in a second, but it's a lot of noises made just by rubber balls hitting different areas on this thing. It is really, really cool. We got confirmation that the dinosaur exhibit did not have any animatronics. 
nor did it have any really loud noises. So we convinced Allison to come in and that was mainly because we had to go through here in order to get to the downstairs area where you could put together those clay statues. This part was really cool because it had like huge dinosaur skeletons and other like statues and things. Thankfully, it was not loud in there at all, so Allison was able to look around, <laughs> take her time, and not get freaked out. Now, I think that this was probably our favorite exhibit. This is Barbie, You Can Be Anything, The Experience. So it showed the history of all the Barbies and showed like some of the dolls from the previous years. And they had little stations you could go to to say like, hey, I want to be a chef. I want to be a doctor or something. And it had like a little game 
that you could like interact with to show, hey, this is what this person does. It just, I love this place because it showed Allison she could seriously be anything that she wants to be. This little machine was cool. Um, it's basically like a, a Barbie box that you could stand in. You put in your name and what you want to be when you grow up, and then it shows a photo op right there. After a break for lunch, we went up to the fourth floor, which is the highest floor. We went to the one place where Allison really wanted to go after seeing it on the website, and that was this miniatures little section. Now she is obsessed with miniature houses, miniature furniture, anything that is small, collectible, and cute, like she is all over it. She had a blast looking at just these little displays and giving her ideas for other things that she could do in the future with some of her other <laughs> miniature collectibles. And then they had a little computer game where you could design your own house. And as soon as she saw that, like she sat down and she got right to work.
this was our last stop for the day, exhibit wise, the Scooby-Doo Mansion Mayhem. I'm a huge fan of Scooby-Doo and Allison's watched a little bit of the shows, but I wanted to go in here because it was all about solving mysteries and Allison loves reading about mysteries and like solving mysteries. So I thought she would have a blast in here. Unfortunately, it was like later into the afternoon and at this time of day, it just got really, really busy. So there is not a whole lot we could do here, but she did enjoy kind of looking around and looking for clues. So we actually ended up leaving a little after 2 p.m. So much for staying until five, but we saw everything we wanted to. It got a little busy. We had a ton of fun. We were tired. It was time to go home. So leave me a comment and tell me, have you ever been to the Children's Museum of Indianapolis? I highly recommend trying it out at least once. It was an amazing experience. Thank you all so much for watching. We will see you next time.